If you're looking for the cheapest and most reliable Madden 22 coins on the market, check out my sponsor, MMOEXPR.com. Links are in the description and use code JEDI at checkout for 5% off. All right, hey there guys, Adrian DaCosta here, AK Jedi Bro 95 coming at you guys with another video. So before we get too deep into the video, I want to give a huge happy Thanksgiving to all the Americans watching this video. Uh, hopefully you guys are enjoy tomorrow slash today, whenever this video does come out, I probably will be out like midnight my time, which even then it'd be like two in the morning for um, Eastern folks. But hopefully you guys enjoy Thanksgiving uh, t today. Uh, hopefully we can all you guys all sit down and enjoy some good football against uh, for Thanksgiving Day games and here's hoping the Dallas Cowboys lose so that way we can sit here and laugh at guys like Xerxes for uh, being a Cowboys fan uh, okay that might be a bit of a dick thing to say but that's just what it is um, anyways <laughs> moving on let's talk about the prom the stuff that came out today including the um, blitz promo reveals uh, so first off, let's talk about the Bo Nose stuff actually. So they EA did decide to release a training reroll for the Bo Nose players and notice how they say 85 pluses uh, Like right here, which means you can pull the full 94s out of the blit out of the Bo Nose promo stuff Which is fantastic uh, EA did find a way to save this promo, which I gotta say it shouldn't have even gotten to this like there should have been a release for the pack for packs or even this should have been a day one thing uh for, like um, this should have been out on monday if this was what they were going to do the whole time like i don't understand how ea releases a promo and doesn't come up with at least packs i, I don't understand i think it's weird but it is what it is they did find a way to save the promo so dub to ea for that so moving on, we'll talk about the other two heavyweights that were revealed this morning. So the first one is Jonah Jackson, uh, 86 strength, 93 awareness, pass block, pass block power, 91 pass block, 92 pass block finesse, and then 91, 89, and 90 run blocking stats. Uh, left guard, which the strength doesn't really matter too much on the left guard because they can definitely help on double teams more. I feel, I think strength matters more on edge rushers, uh, but on on tackles i mean but this card is still pretty good uh nonetheless i do think this card has some potential and then the last one is going to be eric mccoy uh now both eric mccoy and uh jonah jackson only get uh their one team cam that they have right here for eric it's the saints and then for jonah it's the um lions uh but eric mccoy 89 strength 93 uh pass block 92 92 pass block power 93 pass block finesse and then 91 uh, 93 91 92 run blocking stats so uh eric mccoy again pretty solid heavyweights usually in my opinion i i, I think i'm going to start referring to heavyweights as the end cat promo because i think this is the one that people are going to use their end cats on the most because quite frankly why would you pay for offensive linemen i think it's just i i just think that's a bad idea uh then this one was revealed this morning now this one i have a little bit of things to say about um so this card first of all does not have a power up which i kind of understand because you know it's it's not even like an actual card it's an out of position card uh but they might put a out of position cards uh out of position power up for this card maybe like in a, a little while i don't know but you know daniel jones right now 93 speed 95 jumping 87 catching catch of traffic 95 95 respect 88 short 87 mid and 89 deep route running uh notice he does come with three stock abilities and threat detector identifier slot automatic so uh, let me talk about these abilities real quick before I talk about the card itself. So Slotomatic uh, is one AP on Daniel Jones. He is the only card in the game that can get a Slotomatic for one AP. Uh, I think even slot receivers have to get it for two AP, and then physical wide receivers actually get Slotomatic for I think four. So yeah, that is incredibly cheap of a deal. This card is actually you know this card's actually pretty solid. Uh, and then he, uh, threat detector he gets for two AP. He's the only receiver in the game period to get threat detector which i don't necessarily agree with uh i think this is a something that i don't necessarily think should be a thing i think those should be on offensive linemen and quarterbacks uh like i understand daniel jones is actually a quarterback but this is not a quarterback daniel jones card this is a wide receiver daniel jones card uh so that's why i'm not i'm not really sold on this part and then he does get identifier for free he's the only wide receiver in the game that can get identifier and he's the only player in the game that can get identifier for absolutely nothing, which I will take. Honestly, I think identifier should be free, period. Uh, I think it should be built in the game to where you can see your opponent's user because, I mean, like, why would I have to, why should I have to pay AP points 
precious AP points just to see who you're using. I think that's stupid. Uh, don't get me wrong, I'll still do it because you know having that information is valuable. Uh, but I still think that having uh, identifier is free. Now, let me talk about the concept of this card. And I said this on Twitter. If you're one of those people that are complaining about the concept of this card, the concept, not the fact that it has, you know, abilities that you shouldn't, it shouldn't have this ability or shouldn't have that ability or the card should be better in certain stats, fine. But if you're talking about the concept of this card, mainly out of position cards, if you're hating on this and you're bitching and complaining that EA shouldn't have done this, you are what's wrong with gaming in this day and age. Because... When EA or companies in general, you know, competitive game companies like, you know, 2K, EA, um, you know, Blizzard with Fort with, I almost said fucking Fortnite, with uh, Overwatch or I can't remember the company that makes Fortnite game play. Like it makes the comp makes the Fortnite game or produces it or looks after it, whatever. I can't remember. Uh, but when they, those competitive games, try and interject something fun into their game you, you get pissed about it and it's like let me remind you that you first got into this game mode okay i'm not saying you get into it now because it's because it's fun you know obviously if you don't think this game is fun i don't blame you i don't think the game telling online is fun i that's why i just i've been dragging my feet on getting gameplays for you guys because i just don't think it's fun because i know i'm gonna lose my mind but let it remind you that you got into these kind of game modes because you thought they were fun. You thought they were dis distant. You thought they were interesting. You know? And the fact that you're upset about this is what's wrong with gaming. Because when EA, when companies like this decide to interject some way of fun like this or the fullback Robert Hunt that came out last week, people find a way to bitch and complain. And it's like... Who cares? Who honestly really cares if anything there should be more like this you know i don't mind out of position cards i truly don't because it gives uniqueness to the game you know and the thing is it's not like you can have both a daniel jones quarterback and a daniel jones wide receiver or a dk metcalf safety and a dk metcalf cornerback you can't have that or jamal adams safety and jamal adams right outside linebacker because let's not forget that they actually had jamal adams outside linebacker last year so What's the problem? What is the problem? Please tell me because I genuinely do not understand the issue with stuff like this. I, I think it's weird. I think it's weird that people are up at arms over this card. I, I, I think it's weird. I thought it was funny. I thought it was amazing. I think it's amazing. Uh, and there should be more like this, you know. You no, know, don't have the whole game be cards out of position. I'm not saying that. But have more cards like this, you know, out of position cards, you know, even or meme cards like this and the fullback Robert Hunt, you know, funny stuff that happens, put it in the game because honestly, that's what this game is missing is more fun things to have and try, you know, like trying out a fun full, like trying out the fullback Robert Hunt or a Daniel Jones wide receiver, you know, that can be fun. Anyhow, that's just my opinion on that. Moving on. Uh, oh yeah, right. Um, I'm using Metality stuff, so he's actually he actually was doing some he posted some underdog picture stuff on it. So today for the LTDs, it's gonna be for tomorrow's LTD. It's gonna be Quentin Nelson and Chris Jones. Both are gonna be offensive and defense. Both are gonna be um specific linemen. Uh, they did not showcase the stats for these cards. Uh, and just also keep in mind there is no Good Morning Madden tomorrow, so we will not see these cards stats uh until they are released in the game tomorrow morning. So there, so just remember that when you are going to be playing, uh, when you're looking for the stats, there are no stats out right now. You got to wait till tomorrow. Uh, but you know what? I'm whatever it's, it's offensive and defensive linemen LTDs. I like, there's literally nothing to me to talk about other than that. Uh, then we move on to the blitz cards. Now here is the first look at the blitz players. Okay. It was Jamar Chase, Derwin James, Jalen Hurts, and a few others. They eventually did get around to revealing them, but it did take a little bit. Uh, so first, let me talk about the LTD. The LTD for the uh, Blitz promo is Kyle Pitts for the Atlanta Falcons. So 94 speed, 93 drought run uh, short, 90 mid. Uh, this card powered up to a 96. We'll be able to get red zone threat and tight end apprentice at the same time, which is just bonkers when you really think about how broken 
uh, tight end, uh, not tight end apprentice, uh, uh, what is it called? Red zone threat. Uh, red zone threat is incredibly broken. Uh, you know, the fact that it can get this and red zone threat at the same time is insane. Uh, I do like this card though. I think he's good. He's already the best tight end in the game without a doubt. Uh, so then we get into the other elites. So the first card is Lamar Jackson. Now I don't necessarily remember if they said he was a master or if he's just a, uh, high elite. I think he is a master because I think Derwin James, Jamar, and Jamar Chase were, um, uh, were, uh, 92s and i think the 93s were the masters so lamar jackson here are his stats uh kind of disappointed to see 93 overall masters but uh 95 speed 97 play action now unfortunately the downside with this card is he cannot get gunslinger at all he improvisers have to be 95 uh and also he cannot get escape artist and set feet lead at the same time uh you have to pick one or the other uh what you pick is up to you personally for me uh, considering the speed of this Lamar Jackson, I would actually do pass lead elite. I don't think a 95 speed or 97 speed quarterback really needs a skate artist. <laughs> I, I really don't think that like it's already going to be hard enough to contain that to stop this guy uh, from scrambling outside the pocket. Like you don't need to waste three AP on on that. You could just put pass lead elite on him. Uh, but yeah, Lamar Jackson, he's coming tomorrow for a master. Then we have Montez Sweat for the. Um, Washington football team, 93 speed, 95 finesse, 93 block shedding, uh, good edge rusher, nothing really else to be completely honest, you know, good edge rusher, has some good block shed, it's just a shame that his inside stuff for no outsiders are like 3 AP a piece because he's a speed rusher, uh, then we move on to the other, so the other cards, so the first card that they actually looked, um, so the first card that they actually revealed was Jalen Hurts, uh, 91 speed, 87 play, 86 play action, um 90 short 89 mid and, and 90 on the run there we go i'm kind of blanking out right here <laughs> um now he will be able to get escape artists for 2 ap because he is a scrambler and scrambles scramblers do get escape artists for 2 ap but yeah that's all i gotta say about that so that's gonna be interesting uh then we have derwin james uh derwin james upgrading to a 93 so 94 speed 93 zone 93 hit power i actually think this would be a better option as a user instead of an actual like free roamer because you know he he does get acrobat but you know they really don't get a whole lot much better of cards to be completely to be completely honest but you know derwin james is still a pretty good card i still think this card is amazing uh and then the last card for the night was that was revealed tonight was jamar chase so powered up 94 speed 96 jumping which is incredible uh 89 catching 90 catching traffic 91 spec and then 88 89 and 92 deep route running uh now i think he will be able to get uh outside apprentice uh cannot get slot apprentice though because you got to be 95 for the deep threats um but this card is still pretty fast 97 speed powered up with Bengals steam team 96 my bad 96 speed powered up with uh you know Bengals steam team but this card is still pretty great um nothing really else to say about that so that is going to do it for the this video guys i hope you guys did enjoy uh tomorrow i'm for sure going to upload the eagle steam team lineup update i have been forgetting my fucking ass off to do the eagle steam team update so i will do it tomorrow and i'm also going to be releasing tomorrow uh my uh best budget defensive players if i haven't released that already i'm pretty sure i haven't uh so if i haven't released it it's going to be out tomorrow but with that being said guys i'll see you guys in the next video I'm out. Peace.